Hey. So, uh, quick, uh, quick heads up. Uh, we goofed. You want to explain what the goof was? Yeah. So, um, we, uh, uh, we, <laughs> we got through uh, Haiti, and we were already. Uh, we got through the. We got through the first level of um, China, and then we lost all of our footage. So, uh, we're just gonna just play it again. Yeah, we're really sorry. Um, we, uh, we collected some clue balls. Fortunately, we got, uh, water safety, so now Mick can drown all he wants. I completely forgot. No, that's what happened. We were very bummed that we lost the recording, and I'm like, well, look, we can replay the levels. Um, we already have the clue bottles, so fortunately, I hope no one's using this as a, as a, as a clue hunting guide, but... As soon as we got to China, we got water safety, and I said to Mick, Hey, don't you wish you had that earlier? Yeah. And Mick looked at me, and he's like, You know what, Taylor, just not right now, man. But then we lost all the audio, and I'm like, Hey, water safety. <laughs> water safety. <laughs> um, other things uh, of importance is um, Mick found something he likes even more than the role. Um, oh, oh this, is, um, this is a Master Thief sprint. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, it just means that you have a two-minute time limit to complete the level. Uh, I don't like these. I don't like speed runs in games where you're not supposed to run because they're generally unfair and biased to... Um, I don't know. I honestly feel like these are dev times uh, in certain places. I haven't tried a lot of these, uh, but I just remember doing the first one, and I just was very frustrated. God, water safety is helpful. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through. Um, we're gonna go through uh, the, these levels. Uh, we'll do the boss if uh, we decide to play the cutscenes in the in the van. We will. Um, not a ton of progress lost. So um, um, if you're still with us right now, we're very grateful. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun playing this. I think. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean. Good news for me, I get to remember what happened in this level because I don't, re I or rather this this section of the game because I don't remember a goddamn thing. Yeah, we. <laughs> the mi the minute I got to that boss fight, I began to disassociate. Um, He's been using that word the whole time. As soon as we left, Hades like, you know, it sucks that there are only four worlds in this game. I really feel like they needed one more. And so when we had to go back to Haiti, I'm like, Mick, are you excited? He's like, oh, I didn't even know there was a third world. I mean, I'm excited. Water safety! He's gonna jump all the way back up. This, this is honestly the best thing that could happen to this recording. Yeah. Um, our, our commentary, we're both willing to admit, was not um, up to the standards that we so eagerly try to, uh, try to put up in our very long history of two weeks of recording together. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. You ever... No! <laughs> He'll find other ways to die. And we'll all work... Oh. Ooh. What? Well, we're at the beginning of the level. Yeah, I'm not doing the time trial anymore. I did that Oh, are we still in the time trial? I thought you died already. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I feel like we're gonna go faster anyway, so I won't cut. Um, yeah. Um... Okay, maybe a little bit of cutting. All right, a little bit of cutting. <laughs> All right, you done falling? Okay, cool. We back. Just talking about how great we are now that we now that we're redoing the level. Yeah. Um. So Mick. Yeah. What if you had the superpower to see with your eyes closed? Um. I do have that superpower, actually. But like, what if you could never turn it off? and you're perpetuated into an infinite cycle of always being forced to see whatever is really going on around you. That's terrifying. I think so. Damn it! Now what if I told you I had said superpower? Um, I wouldn't believe you. Okay. Well good, because I'm lying. But what if I did? This conversation makes me feel drunk. Well, you should have thought about that before having... 17 vodka tonics right there in front of you. And one singular Snapple bottle. I'm not close enough to the mic, am I? I'm probably... I swear to God. You got this. Do not burn your butt. That is the first rule of Sly Cooper. Don't Woo. burn your butt. Woo. 
right behind Coopers don't swim very well. Water safety! Water safety! Okay. I'm just waiting for water safety to fail you. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be... No, no, no! Oh, wow. <laughs> you are... A couple of times off screen, Mick, like, just... I am a gaming god. Just... <laughs> it's always sunny reference. Is it? I think so. Like, like, I am a golden god! Oh, I know. I was just quoting Christian last night. Okay. That makes way more sense. Yeah, Christian kept saying it, uh... Mm last night when we were recording. Christian's a gaming god. That's all rich. Uh, we can just use the world map. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. One, one thing I've noticed about Mick um, is that he does really bad when he's at the hub. <laughs> I don't know why. Mick dies way more at the hub world. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we um, we just have uh, many game sections left. Yeah. Um, which Mick loves. Uh, this is actually the easy, uh, the, the least uh, offensive one. Yeah. I actually had forgotten some of the stages that were here, and when we got to them, and then you'll see them uh, later. I was just like, I'm not entirely convinced this is real. <laughs> I mean, to, like for some, like th this, this, this world more than any, uh, more than any of the other ones in this game. Uh, feels like it's just mini games. Yeah, no. I I've said this multiple times even though we lost recording. Um I think I said it in the last session anyways. Um I hate this level. <laughs> this level um this world you mean. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, this world. Um it's just not it's just not fun. Every level looks the same. It's got way more gimmicks. And and you know what the set, the thing is, it doesn't even have the Murray stages and it still manages to be awful. <laughs> And you can attest to that? Oh, yeah. From what little I remember, yeah. What are you talking about? We've never played this level before. I don't know what you're talking about. What's Haiti? This is Louisiana. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yes. Yes, this is... Okay. I, I went on a fucking rant last time, okay? I went on this... I don't even know where it came from. I'm like... This is... I feel like this... I feel like... I feel like they, when they designed this level, it was supposed to be Louisiana, because this, this, this world reminds me so much more of Louisiana than it does of Haiti. I feel like they intended it to be Louisiana, and then realized, oh, they already have a U.S. state with Arizona. But I feel like that would even make more sense, because we just came from Arizona, and Louisiana's right there. I ha mean, to, uh, Haiti's not that much further away. I mean, the way I see it, the way I see that they had to do Hades, like, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for two members of the Fiendish Five to be living in the States. I know, that's what I'm trying to say. You know, they're supposed to split up this piece, you know, yeah. these, these five pages of the Thebius Raccoonus, specifically in each corner of the world. It would be kind of lame for Miss Ruby and Mugshot to just be buds, you know, who, who text every now and then and come to visit each other halfway in Texas. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean... Hang on a minute, where the fuck did Raleigh live? Oh, was it Norway? No. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I mean, like, he, he, I wanna say he's, I wanna say it's in Britain. Looking it up, this is my looking up music. I wanna get off this ride. Well, that's tough. And I'm not gonna stop singing till I find what I'm looking for. And then ten years later, Raleigh was confronted by the Sly Cooper. Where does he live? This is just about his backstory. I don't please, need to know. Please that stop. He's done. I fucking beg you. Make you being kind of rude to my awesome singing voice that has been. I'm not put being rude to your awesome wisdom. singing voice. I'm being rude to your terrible singing voice. You are kind of an asshole. You're always so mean to me, and I thought Please. we were supposed to be friends. Please stop. I thought we were supposed Please to stop. be friends. Please stop. You don't understand. Please, I will give you anything to stop. Is this going to be? <laughs> to stop the recording. Be like Taylor. Look, I'm not allowed to sing on camera. All right, I am your god. I decide. Did you die? No. Oh, no. Why'd you, why'd you say that? Oh, just because it looked like the same level. I've been um, I'm on my phone. Where is? All right. Okay, now I died. 
Well, that was my fault. Yep. Um, if you want to hear me sing, let me know in the comments. Yeah, it was the uh, wait. <laughs> I, I wrote, where was Sir Wally from? And the first thing that shows up is Walter Raleigh from uh, Hayes Barton, United Kingdom. <laughs> and I'm starting to think that maybe it's, uh, why was Sir Walt Walter Raleigh, Raleigh beheaded? There's a, oh, wow. Yeah. They may have uh, been doing some, uh, it's probably London. I mean, it, but, okay, or, it's probably not London, because London is a city. Not London. It's not London. That's not what I meant. I meant, like, somewhere in the UK. Yeah. You know what I've always wanted? What have you always wanted? A taxidermy monkey. God damn it, we still have ten minutes. Why do you want a taxidermy monkey? I don't know. I think it would be cool. Be a nice, uh, be a nice conversation piece. I'll put it right next to my, uh, before right next to a landscape painting by Adolf Hitler. These are things I've always wanted. I can just imagine the conversation that, like, incites that. It's like, how was your day today? Oh, you know, honestly, not great. My dog, my, my very old dog, finally we had to put her down today. It was very sad, but, you know, we threw a night, we had a nice burial, and I, everyone said so. It's cool. I want a taxidermy monkey. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, I really miss her. Because here's why I want a taxidermy monkey, and you what? just, you just kind of... What, what, what? Why are you imagining a scenario in which I will bring this taxidermied monkey up in a f and in like a funeral setting? Um, I don't know. I guess I don't think that highly of you. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's not true. The thing is, you're not entirely wrong <laughs> if you've ever seen me and my family at a funeral. Taxidermied monkeys might very well be um, part of the conversation. I mean, I look. Oh. Sorry. Um, I am under the impression that you have already planned your own funeral. And... <laughs> that there are... I already have... There, I already have some ideas about how I wanted to go down. Oh, well, please, tell me. I don't know a whole lot. So, um, what I'm plan... You just did a checkpoint. I know, yeah. Um, so what I really want to do is I want to hire... I want to hire a bunch of actors to come to my funeral and like pretend to be oh, basically I want to I want to make my my life seem like it was a huge big adventure um like, so I'm just going to hire fuck I'm going to hire a bunch of actors to just like pretend to be like people from my exciting past now do they look oh no no that's from oh so they're your friends no 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 they're people I've never met before but they're going to pretend like they like they like they've known me no no that's what I mean you're hiring them to be your pretend awesome friends yeah um, well, not, e not even, like, not even my friends. Because um, the four of us aren't good enough. Well, no, no, no. I mean, it's not that you guys aren't good friends. It's just that you're not exactly... Go ahead. Say it. Say it. So. No, no. Say it. Don't, no. We're not passing on. Um. Well, Nick's going silent. I'm trying to think of a good way to say this. Um, you're not... You don't make me seem like a... You do not make me seem like the coolest guy in the world. Um, I beg to fucking differ. I serenade you on a regular basis. Okay. I order you mozzarella sticks whenever you want. Like... I... You know, I'm almost like a butler. Okay. Who also failed at taekwondo classes. Okay. No, I, I... No, I know. I know. I know I'm... I, I, I think... I think I'm a party and, and yeah. a half. No, but, you know... But you need... You need two whole parties. Yeah. Well, what a... What a... What a really, what a, what a... What I want at my funeral is to be... Is to have a bunch of guys... What's going on? Is to have a bunch of... Fucking is is it to look like you know got a bunch of secret service agents co coming in saying you know okay now before they were actors now they're secret service agents no 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 actors pretending to be secret service agents so okay. that I look like I'm look like much cooler than I actually was okay yeah I think it's important to remember that in this scenario where we're not cool you're not cool either I mean exactly I'm just pretending to be cool you have to one up us specifically when you're dead <laughs> yeah speaking of dead just. 
Finish the level. Yeah. I want to pause because this is interesting, and I want to hear yeah. more about your funeral. Yeah, no, I was have a bunch of guys, you know, let's go. I got a bunch of guys dressed as, like... You know... <laughs> you think Sly's trying to tell you something? Yeah. I think Sly's trying to tell you That's something. another thing. I want a group of gentlemen thieves at my, uh... Uh, at my funeral. You know, it almost seems like you're gonna need a guest list. You're gonna need RSVPs. Exactly. You need to ask everyone if they want chicken or fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, that, that, that is very much a wedding thing. I know, but you're starting to romanticize this. Oh, no, no, no. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You know, um, let's go together. Yeah, let's just have a wedding. When I die, let's just throw a wedding. Let's throw a wedding. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna my monkey. <laughs> my monkey's gonna, my taxidermy monkey's gonna have a wedding when I die. Oh yeah, who 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 is he marrying? Himself. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna jack off. That's the, that's it. That's what happens when I die. A monkey jacks off. Um, I'm, um, I'm trying to think if that's well, that's not untrue. He's got a bunch of guys, you know, dressed up like they're from some you know lost tribe and going. He saved our village during the rainy season. That's the, the, that's what I want for my funeral. We we can do that. No one, uh, I've never, we've never met your parents yet, so they can't dispute that, you know, we are here. Oh, no, 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 but part part of this is that I want everyone to, you know, I, listen. I want this to look convincing, because at the same time, my parents are always going to be like, where the fuck is Taylor? He died. The monkey killed him. You got killed by the, you got killed by my, you got killed by my dead monkey? Um... Oh, the monkey died? It's a taxidermied monkey! <laughs> or did you forget what taxidermy is? No, taxidermy is when you pin things, right? A tax... no. Well, if you're taxidermying moths, then yes. Uh, yeah, so is that not the same with a monkey? You just pin it to... No. Taxidermy is when you... Is, is It's when you pull the... It's when you pull the skin off something. Um... There the skin and fur off something, and then you mount it on a wooden base. Okay. Now, the only reason I didn't know that is because I wouldn't notice on something like a moth, which I've is the only thing I've ever seen taxidermied. Really? You've never seen, like, a... you never seen, like, a... Really? No, I really haven't. I think it would make me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you've never been to, like, you know, like, a bar, and they had, like, uh, what's going on? They had, like, a stuffed moose? No, I've never been to a bar. Okay, you've ever been to, you've ever been to like a restaurant where they had a like a stuffed moose head on the uh Uh no, I I I've, I've been waiting to find one but I haven't actually. Are you ready to kill chickens? Uh, I hate this one. Nick uh Nick was not happy with this with this part. Well, hang on. <laughs> Well, okay, look, even though the monkey is dead, I, I still want to believe it's like, um, you ever read, Way you ever read Wayside? No. Okay. Um, Wayside is a great series of books by Lewis Satcher who wrote Holes. Um, yeah. And, um, one of Lewis Satcher's things in Wayside, so Wayside is a, is a, um. I'm vaguely familiar with the concept. It's like a school that's like. 30 uh, stories tall. Yeah, like, it's like on its side or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, to, to that extent. Okay. Um, it's just a really big building. And Lewis Satcher's whole thing is dead rats. Like, so, like, like, at the end of the day, a dead rat is always behind everything. Okay. And the thing is, even though he specifically narrates, writes that they're dead rats, the rats still talk, and <laughs> the rats still do things. <laughs> so, you know, like, um, there's a dead rat, um, this kid's trying to confess to his teacher. Um, it's like, I love you. Well, you know, I love you too, in a platonic way. This is getting disgusting, said the dead rat, <laughs> as it walked itself out of the room. And, that, and, you know, so I'm just convinced that even though you, you know, the monkey is dead, and maybe I needed to uh, to refresh myself on what taxidermy was, and I, I'm sure that made me come across as stupid. Um, in my mind, even if it's your monkey, it's still talking and moving and doing okay. all of the normal things monkeys do. Okay. And I think you knew that too. No. Just... No, in my head, it's wearing a tiara. It's got a very disappointed expression on its face. 
So thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Cactus Arcade. When we come back, we'll be uh, killing chickens. <laughs>